okay, so the Google app. That's the full name, right? Just Google on the Google Play Store. Um, when you run it, it'll give you the option to set up Google Now, which I, uh, I uh, don't have it do. But, uh, so, you know, the voice search uh, is great, because not only does it do the voice to text, but it can, uh, you can ask it all kinds of stuff, and it gives you the answer for. But what I noticed was, when I run the Google app, um, where I used to have the mic microphone input down here is no longer there. So I don't have the mic input. OK Google doesn't work. Um, I believe because you need uh, Android 4.4 or higher for OK Google. Um, it almost works. If you turn uh, OK Google on and you're sitting here, I can say OK Google. It would beep at me and be listening. I could say something. It would actually dictate what I said down here as text, but when it gets to the point where it should actually give you the results, it normally crashes and closes. So, and I don't really care about OK Google so much, I just wanted the smart voice search. So what I noticed is, on my phone, in the rectangular search box over here, there's normally a microphone there. There's no microphone there. So just for kicks though, I touched it in the very right corner. How old is Carol Burnett? Wow, 82. So um, even though the microphone's not there, it's like there is one, you just can't see it. So if you hit it, it will bring up the voice search. And then once you've done that once, then you now do have actually a little microphone, the Google microphone symbol. So then it's real easy to hit it again. But um, it's a little picky on the location. Um, if you go back, there we go, this empty box, you have to hit it just right, very far to the right, you know, the imaginary microphone. So I was trying to find something that would give me the voice search, but not being so finicky with pressing. So I did eventually come across something. I was going to try to use like desktop visualizer or some short cut kind of program to take me directly to where Google's listening. And I did find such a thing. Mm, VS Shortcut. I think on the uh, Google Play Store it's called ICS for Ice Cream Sandwich uh, Voice Shortcut. It takes you right there. So now I can just hit that. How old is Tim Conway? Oh, Carol Burnett thing going tonight. 81 years old. So that way, instead of uh, hitting opening the Google app and then trying to find the uh, missing microphone, I just hit it. Bam, it comes up listening already for my voice, and it's good to go. So, what I do then is in Cardastroid, which is normally I have pop up. Um, I have this, it says Google with a microphone, but really I use Desktop Visualizer just to make a, a shortcut. Um, desktop Visualizer lets you choose uh, whatever icon you want to use and link it to whatever app you want to use. So when I hit this right here, it basically just runs the ice cream sandwich voice shortcut. So now, you know, I can be, I have my main, main uh, screen here. I can then just hit it and up comes. How far is the nearest Wendy's? And there we go. Shows me a location of the nearest Wendy's with the options to start Google Maps to get there. Um, all those great things that you uh, like about the uh, smart Google search is now available. Searching works pretty well. Uh, you don't need data for most applications. Now I did go in settings 
and uh, input and language input and then Google voice typing I've enabled settings over here under offline speech recognition if you go into there I downloaded US English and then that way you can use voice recognition even though you don't have uh, a data connection for example let's turn Wi-Fi off okay Wi-Fi is off let's go to search a little search button and clear it now let's see can you see it or is it cut off the standard AOSP keyboard that's uh, installed uh, has the microphone button down here in the bottom left so I can say something let's see what's uh, it helps if it's a you know, standard English names Bob Seeger Okay, so now if you let it try to finish, you get that. Can't reach Google at this moment. I, no I noticed that. And what I discovered, though, was if you stop it, search Bob Seeger. There, I hit the button again to stop it. Boom. It works, no problem. You can see it voice recognized Bob Seeger. And then I uh, actually have some Bob Seeger on here. So then I can go in and select my Bob Se one of my Bob Seeger songs. But that only works if you don't let it go, don't let it finish the search. What am I trying to say? If you just say Bob Seeger and do nothing, it tries to reach Google. But if you after you're done talking, hit the microphone button again, you're golden.